What if I mess up too many times? Does it ruin my relationship with God? The answer to that is both yes and no. Yes, from the standpoint, it can ruin the present, being in the presence of God. It can ruin, uh, you know, you're, you're drawing close to him. But if you are born again and have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repented of your sins, we know we are not oblivious to what scripture says. We know that the righteous man falls seven times and gets back up again. It doesn't say the wicked man, it says righteous. So we are going to continue to unfortunately battle, have a battle between the flesh and the spirit here in this life. We are going to sin each day. None of us are going to have a perfect day because we are sinners at the end of the day, but we are sinners saved by grace through faith as Ephesians declares. And every time we sin, we are called to repent to him because God says, come quickly and boldly to the throne of grace that you may receive help in a time of need. And so when we confess our sins, we can enter right back into that presence and that fellowship we had with God. It's not that every time we sin, we are on the border of losing our salvation or, or God doesn't love us anymore. We God loves us and he is long suffering and patient. But from the standpoint, does it, if we mess up too many times, first off, as a born again believer, there's no such thing as messing up too many times from the standpoint of wanting to live a holy life. Not as Book of Jude says, many take God's grace and use it as lasciviousness, but from the standpoint of living holy and desiring God and striving to live for him. But those who claim Christ and yet are, are like, yeah, those commandments are for the, you know, yesteryears and, and, you know, I can do whatever I want. God's love. God, God isn't, I can always come back. That mindset is absolutely dangerous. But for those truly who are born again, wanting to live the Christian way, uh, there you can never mess up too many times. And also when we do mess up, it won't ruin our relationship from the standpoint we're committing the unpardonable sin and the Holy Spirit's leaving us. Uh, the only thing it will do, our sin does, is it distances our us from God. But when we draw near to God, he will draw near to us. God is, again, long-suffering. He's more ready in, to give than we are willing to receive. He's more willing to give his grace and mercy than we are willing to receive it. And we, many times when we sin, the devil comes and makes us feel guilty and shameful. But God is saying, I have taken your guilt and shame. Your sins, even before you committed your sins, I knew what you would do. They have been nailed upon Christ. Repent and come back to me. Because we know from the book of Ecclesiastes, there's not a just man on earth who does good and does not sin. There just isn't. And so, but that shouldn't negate the reality. Just because we're all sinners and we're bound to sin doesn't give us the excuse to keep on sinning because we know the Holy Spirit sanctifies and over time we're able to see improvements. We say, wow, I used to struggle with this. This isn't a struggle anymore. Or man, I can't remember the last time I, I swore. Or wow, God's really defeated this bad habit or this bad mindset in my life. God's really given me the power and the strength. I feel more closer to him and the like. So uh, if we, what happens if we mess up too many times? Does it ruin our relationship with God? Uh, the first and foremost answer is no, it doesn't when we are born again. Uh, and then it has a latter yes from the standpoint that sin distanced us from God, uh, which is just as the prodigal son when he went out and left the father. Obviously, there wasn't a real relationship there because there was a distancing. But the prodigal son came back and the father embraced him with loving arms. And God does the same. Whenever we sin, we must never think we are too far away from him because God is ready to forgive. He's ready to help us and give us the strength to move forward and may all become born again by believing Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repenting of their sins. Because as this occurs, we receive the Holy Spirit, we receive newness of life, and we will begin to understand more and more that God is truly for us, not against us. He desires to save. He does not want any to perish but all to come to repentance. And may we just know that when we sin, we can repent and we can move forward in the power of the Holy Spirit as he continues to give us the strength needed to walk down the narrow road, the Christian road, the righteous road, by his strength and might day by day.